Hello friends. Vishwanathan Anand won the Bill Credit Swiss tournament in nineteen ninety seven ahead of strong competitors like Anatoly Karpov, Boris Gelfand. His win against Joel Lautier, a strong grandmaster and two times French national champion, is one of his greatest games. Anand has white pieces and opens with pawn to e4. Lautier replies with d5. Scandinavian defense. Interestingly, Anand had faced Scandinavian defense in the World Championship versus Kerry Kasparov. After e takes d5, queen takes d5, knight to c3, black has various choices like queen to d8, queen to d6, etc. Lautier goes for queen to a5. Both players continue their development with d4, knight f6, knight to f3 c6 bishop to c4 and bishop to f5 anand has few choices here like bishop to d2 castle he goes for knight to e5 lotier has to defend f7 pawn so he goes e6 anand attacks the bishop with g4 lotier retreats the bishop to g6 anand goes h4 threatening to trap the bishop lotier challenges the e5 knight with knight b to d7 after knight takes d7 knight takes d7 h5 bishop to e4 please note that white cannot capture the bishop with the knight as the knight is pinned so we have rook to h3 a nice rook lift by anand here black needs to be careful and should not play long castle as then white can trap the e4 bishop with bishop to d2 lotier finds a good move bishop to g2 here anand mentions in his notes that initially he wanted to play rook to g3 but then black would gain a tempo with bishop to d6 so anand finds rook to e3 a nice improvisation over the board this is the right time for lotier to take his king to safety with long castle but he wants to be more ambitious and goes knight to b6 attacking bishop on c4 if bishop to b3 then after c5 black gets a lot of counterplay so anand retreats bishop to d3 lotier goes knight to d5 putting pressure on e3 rook and c3 knight which is pinned overall black seems better and dominating in this position however anand has anticipated this and finds an excellent move you can pause the video and try to find it he goes f3 the point is after knight takes e3 bishop takes e3 anand will eventually win Lotier trap bishop with king to f2 similar idea after knight takes c3 b takes c3 queen takes c3 check and bishop to d2 so anand would have two minor pieces for rook and a pawn although anand would be better it would be better continuation for lotier than in the actual game lotier wants more out of the position and goes bishop to b4 putting pressure on the c3 knight after king f2 bishop takes c3 b takes c3 and queen takes c3 lotier is attacking anand's rook on a1 we have rook to b1 queen takes d4 rook takes b7 and rook to d8 lotier placing the rook on open d5 anand finds a brilliant move here please pause the video and try to find it it is h6 the best resistance from black here would be knight takes e3 bishop takes e3 and queen to e5 although white would be clearly better at least black is not losing immediately as it happens in the game in the game lotier plays g takes h6 anand finds another brilliancy here 
you can pause the video and try to find it. He goes bishop g6, a spectacular move offering to sacrifice his queen, bishop and rook. But actually black has no way to save the game. If queen takes d1, then rook takes e6 check, king f8, bishop takes h6 check, king g8, and bishop takes f7 would be beautiful checkmate. So Lottier tries knight to e7. Anand finishes the game with queen takes d4, rook takes d4, rook to d3 offering rook trade, rook to d8, rook takes d8 check, king takes d8, and bishop to d3. Realizing that there is no way to save the bishop, and the game Lottier surrenders. With this, Anand produces one of his greatest masterpiece. It is at par with his brilliant victory versus Levon Aronian in 2013. You can check out that game via above link, which is also available in the description. Hope you enjoyed it. Please click the subscribe button to watch more such exciting games. Bye and take care.